and we're off 10 mile handicap can i do sub free pace after coming back from injury who knows there's only one way to find out hello we are back it's nrg runs i'm nick and today it is the spartans 10 mile handicap so my club Fens valley spartans hosting this one the aim being everyone finishes at around the same time some people doing 10 miles some people doing five miles some of you may remember a year ago me doing this video and uh yeah it's a chance to kind of compare with where I was a year ago where I am now the course is actually uh, in the opposite direction well some of it at least this year so it won't be a direct comparison I guess in that respect so what is the aim so I'm trying to build my fitness back up after getting injured so 10 miles today is going to be my longest run since I did the Boston Marathon UK in end of April of this year so it's going to be a bit of a test last year i did this one in one hour four minutes and 59 seconds which was a couple of minutes quicker than i did the previous year i did one hour seven minutes and four seconds so this year sadly i'm actually probably going to go for a bit slower than either of those times and aim for sub three marathon pace so 650 a mile 415 a kilometer and that will take me in in one hour eight minutes and 20 seconds there or thereabouts so that's the aim but to be honest i got no idea how that's gonna feel it could well be a bit of a struggle towards the end and i might have to slow down because i've barely raced i've done a 5k where i just sneaked under 20 minutes and not a lot else kind of at top speed so it's going to be a benchmark, it's going to be a marker. See where I'm at and just try and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful sunny day in Stevenage, Hertfordshire. So, not massive expectations. Let's see if I can get back to that sub free pace and hold it maybe for 10 miles. We will see. Course is a bit up, a bit down and a fast finish so I think above all what I've got to try and do is not hit my arm on a bollard at the end of the race like I did last year so that's goal number one everything else is a bonus bit of wind coming out now but it is an absolutely glorious day so short warm-up this is actually going to be about a 30 mile week for me which is my longest since Boston. So again, trying to keep the warm up a bit shorter. Don't want to overdo it on the miles to come back from holiday and injury. But I'm building back up and laying down a marker today. So that's enough for me. I'll see you out on the course. Oh, and yeah, just to get the excuses in early, Show you my watch but i did not sleep well last night i was out quite late in lecture dj night awesome storeroom in lecture if you're interested um but yeah late night georgie's on the decks into the early hours and then uh, the night before didn't sleep well either so that's my excuses in early my pb is one hour three minutes 59 seconds from bunningford 10 last year i'm getting nowhere near that today but we're just gonna see what happens. So for the second time, let's get into it. And we're off, 10 mile handicap. Can I do sub free pace after coming back from injury? Who knows? There's only one way to find out. That's mile one, 247. Just a little bit ahead of pace, slightly uphill, so we be through hill. That's so mile two, 655. We've got a former Olympian right here, UK Gordon, a legend of the game. Second mile was uphill, by the way. And last year, I didn't get to my parents, 
but this year they've come out to support again and they had a late night last night and they still made it so thank you them. Six for mile three and 21 12 for 5k. So it's pretty much bang on for one of these. Come on, it's mile five, 650 on the dot. Well done, mate. Well done. Keep going. So that's 650 for mile five, halfway. Pretty much exactly where we want to be. Now we get tough. Mile six. 714 legs died up that hill 10k 4255 we're a bit behind now but just gonna push as hard as I can mile 7 713 another hilly one consistent at least just gotta keep going mile 8 648 needed that downhill back on it come on 6.52, one more to go, come on. Oh straight, almost there. Keep going, keep going. Well done, Becky. Well done. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh. That was tough. Oh my gosh. Number one, didn't hit the bollard at the finish. So that's a bonus. And number two, 652 average pace, which people in the sub three world will know that is bang on, although with the uh, added distance, you normally walk a bit more, but very happy with that to put it back at the end. And uh, the time was, when it comes up on my watch, one hour, eight minutes, 56 seconds, thereabouts. So maybe 30 seconds off where I was aiming for, but very pleased with that. So a very gentle jog back to the car, which will get me to about 32 miles for the week. Biggest week in a long time. Finally, can I start to build some consistency back after my stress fracture injury as i said there at the finish that was tough mile six mile seven uphill oh i was really struggling but then i just found a second wind obviously some of the downhill held saw my parents which was great trying to kind of chase people down have people to aim for and yeah it got me through got me back on pace and overall I've got to be pleased with that. Yes, it's not where I want to be. This time last year, dipped under one hour, five minutes for the first time. And then six weeks later, I've gone in for 10. Managed to dip under one hour, four. So, you know, I'm about five minutes off that right now. But that's okay. I've been injured. My fitness hasn't been there. Just come back from holiday. But two poor nights sleep and I'm still running around 6.50 pace, 4.15 a kilometre for 10 miles. Humbling, yes, but I've got to be happy with that. So, the racing continues next weekend, doing Hatfield 5 mile, so let's see how I get on with that. So if you enjoyed the video, please do consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow me, hopefully, getting back into sub three marathon shape and Georgie as well let's see what's next for her but until then I will see you on the next one cheers